The story of an alleged kidnapping of a dog right off a family's porch in Accomack County has spread like wildfire. The client showed up at company headquarters with cameras rolling, Anita. Yeah, Tom, why the silence from PETA? It's the question on so many minds. We've received an outpouring of feedback on this story over the last 24 hours when people saw this video. And I can tell you now, this push for answers on our end will continue until someone speaks up. Well, new at midday, protests over PETA. Tenny aside has been a following accusations. PETA stole an Eastern Shore family's dog for weeks now. Well, today, dozens of people gathered outside the Eckermack County Commonwealth's Attorney's Office to demand he re-examine his decision not to prosecute two PETA workers. Now, as you mentioned, this all stems from a local family who claimed PETA went onto their property and stole their pet chihuahua, then euthanized it. Their home surveillance video appears to show that action, too. The sheriff arrested the workers in early November, but the Commonwealth's attorney dropped the charges. That has really upset animal advocates. Some SPCA representatives came from as far away as Richmond in Arlington, Virginia, today to support the family. Now, for some reason, PETA refuses to return our calls, our emails to their Norfolk headquarters and their D.C. office. And today we found out we're not the only ones calling them about this story. We've called PETA repeatedly with no luck, gone to their Norfolk headquarters two days in a row. The only person who will talk to us, a receptionist there, told us to call the D.C. office. We've done that. There's nobody here. I mean, this is PETA headquarters. There's right. nobody here that can talk to us. Um, no, not without an appointment. Without an appointment. Can we set an appointment with yeah, somebody? Yeah, that has to be done through media. Through media. But yeah. we're not hearing from anybody. I mean, nobody's, nobody's called us yeah. back. Deborah Griggs of the Virginia Federation of Humane Societies has called PETA, too. Tell us what happened. I mean, if you have nothing to hide, why in the world would you avoid Wavy? Why would you avoid other inquiries? The Center for Consumer Freedom, a nonprofit in Washington that says it aims to protect consumer choices, has also stepped in since our story aired Wednesday. We put out a media statement uh, nationally alerting people to this incident because it's obviously very troubling. PETA needs to come clean with the public about what's going on here. Has PETA been doing this elsewhere in the Tidewater region that we don't know about? I am grateful to Wavy for continuing to persist on this because we are doing the same thing. It makes no sense. A dog was stolen. Why, why is it not being prosecuted? Edward Armstrong is a friend of the Serrates and wants to help the family get justice for Maya by planning a rally outside of Agar's office Monday morning. If the Commonwealth attorney is not willing to prosecute or if he doesn't see uh, intent, then at least allow a special prosecutor to take a look at the case. Both Serrate and Armstrong say they want a conviction to help all of the other people something like this may have happened to. This was the scene Monday morning. Dozens gathered in Accomack County demanding justice for Maya and the Zarate family. I know that I cannot go on to your property and take things off of your porch and decide that I want it and relieve you of ownership of it. But Maya's owner, Wilbur Zarate, and his family friend Edward Armstrong are not buying it and they would like Agar to assign a special prosecutor to the case. The ladies in question visited the Zarate home on multiple occasions. They know the Zarate family by name. They know Maya by name. New at 11, a Virginia animal advocacy group is petitioning the state to take away PETA's rights as a shelter. This after PETA workers allegedly stole and killed a dog last month in Accomack County. Do you remember this video that we showed you? It's a story we've been following for weeks. The Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services Office of Animal Care and Health sent the petition to PETA yesterday. It argues that PETA does not maintain a facility under the statutory definition of an animal shelter. Uh, I'm just trying to address this one little situation here that happened in our district uh, uh, that was important to this family uh, involving their dog. 
But that little dog gained big attention, enough for some to call for action. Tonight, one state lawmaker's plan to get a full review of Norfolk-based PETA. It all started with two PETA workers accused of pulling up and snatching a dog from the porch of a mobile home in Accomack County. The story spread, but no action taken. That is, until now. The women seen in this video are taking a pet off a family's porch. Though larceny charges against them were dropped, State Senator Linwood Lewis from the Eastern Shore wants a state agency to review actions of those two PETA workers. Lewis thinks other laws may have been broken. Then at your size, Deanna LeBlanc has been on top of this story for more than a month now. In Deanna, this is about accountability. Yeah, Tom and Nicole Linwood Lewis says he's simply trying to address, in his words, one little incident that impacts a family in his district, but he's gearing up for a fight against a large and powerful organization, one that is already fighting back. Linwood Lewis wants accountability. He says PETA may have broken existing Virginia codes that are set up to regulate how a dog can be caught and euthanized when they took Maya the Chihuahua. Whether it's uh, animal rights, property rights, any sort of uh, different uh, factors, uh, this has just been a violation on so many levels that it needs to be looked at. He's written to the Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Support, which regulates those laws, asking them to investigate. Ten on your side learned today VDAX is collecting evidence. They've reached out to the local sheriff. He originally arrested the PETA workers on larceny charges that were later dropped. They may find when they look into this that they're able to address uh, the fact pattern here through the regula regulatory power that already exists. PETA has never returned calls from 10 on your side, but today in an email to Senator Lewis, PETA does not specifically address the Maya situation, but does point out its many accomplishments in southeastern Virginia. The email reads in part, PETA's headquarters and animal shelter are located in your district. I hope you will take this opportunity to consider everything that PETA's hands-on rescue division does for constituents and their companion animals in your district and beyond. But Lewis says he doesn't have any plans to stop now. They were employees of the organization acting on behalf of the organization. and The organization needs to be held accountable if they didn't, if they're wrong. And Senator Lewis says that if this VDAX investigation finds they don't have the authority to hold PETA accountable, well, then he'll use his power as state senator to try to pass new laws this session, giving VDAX that power moving forward. In the newsroom, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. She Ten alluded on your to side. Deanna alluded to this, too. We have tried numerous times to talk with PETA about what happened. You may even remember this video of our Aaron Kelly going to PETA headquarters in New York. They told us to call the office in Washington in order to talk to someone in Norfolk. But after all those tries, we've got nothing. Our invitation remains open to PETA for the organization side of this story. Hello, I am Edward Armstrong, CEO of the Masonic Ascent Association, and I would like to thank everyone for their support, including the Virginia Federation of Humane Society, the Richmond SPCA, and other people, as well as animal rescue organizations that have assisted us. The Masonic Ascent Association is a nonprofit, tax exempt 501c10 organization. We have decided to step forward and assist Mr. Zarate and the Zarate family by offering approximately three acres of land upon which to build the new Maya Clinic. Our proposal for the Maya Clinic is to provide a safe haven where local residences may receive low cost and perhaps even free veterinary care for local pets and animals. Our proposed services include pet wellness and vaccinations, animal medical and surgical services, alternative and complementary therapy, and more. We also propose the design and building of a local animal park where locals can walk and play with their pets in a peaceful and serene environment. To document the advancement of the massive project, we will be starting a video blog on YouTube, and we will provide a written journal of advancements on our Facebook page as well. That way, everyone will be able to see the progress as it occurs. Obviously, a project of this magnitude will require the joint efforts of several occupational specialists, including construction and project management crews, medical and veterinarian specialists, 
as well as the coalition of multiple resources gathered between various animal rights and rescue organizations. The Masonica Center has established a fund located at www.themayacenter.org. There you will find additional information about the project as well as the ability to follow the progress of construction. You can also make your donations there as well. All donations made are tax exempt and thus tax deductible for U.S. residences. Upon receiving donations, email receipts will be sent out for use during your tax filings. Every dollar counts and every penny matters. We ask that you give that which you feel comfortable giving and rest assured that the Maya Center will soon become a fast reality. Please help us to make this happen. Thank you. Hello, I am Wilber Sarate, and I would like to thank everyone for their support. I really appreciate everything that everyone has done to help out my family and I. Many people have asked if they could send money to help me and my family. I want to thank for your kind offer. I am working with Edward Armstrong, the Masonic Ascent Association, the Human Society, and other animal, animal rescue organizations to create the Maya Center. I would like to see an animal clinic and rescue center built here in the Eastern Shore of Virginia to help out other animals and the pet owners. I want to help others regarding the health and their pets and the ability to help place pets in, in, loving, in loving, loving homes. Please help me to make this happen. Thank you.